Hello everyone and welcome to my sister wife's bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As the shock of Garrison Brown's sad death spreads across the sister wives world, Cody and Robin Brown may be drowning their grief in retail therapy. When the show debuted in 2010, Cody was married to his first three wives, Mary, Janelle and Christine Brown. Cody, his wives, and their many offspring resided in a big mansion in Utah. Each woman had her own wing to reside with her children. Cody married Robin, his fourth wife, during the first season of Sister Wives. He relocated the Brown family from Utah to four distinct residences in Arizona and eventually Las Vegas. This separated the family leaving Cody with less time for each of his wives and children. COVID-19 also caused chaos, revealing old resentments and rifts. Christine left Cody during Sister Spouses Season 18 and two other spouses followed suit shortly thereafter. That's how Cody got up in an unintentional monogamous relationship with Robin. Cody and Robin have received criticism throughout the years for frequenting shopping centers. Cody and Robin were recently photographed at Caesars Palace Mall in Las Vegas, Nevada and it's probable that they're now shopping while in Sin City. This upscale mall has a number of expensive boutiques, including Gucci, Burberry, and Fendi. The encounter makes one question whether Cody and Robin, who are grieving Garrison's sad loss, are numbing their grief by purchasing items. Cody and Robin often face criticism for their financial decisions. The Browns used a large portion of their family funds to purchase property in Arizona's Coyote Pass, with the intention of developing it and eventually moving there. When it came time for Janelle to choose a home, her money was frozen at Coyote Pass. Instead of assisting her, Cody purchased a spacious house for Robin. Janelle was left to fend for herself and forced to live in a trailer on the property until she could get her own apartment. She eventually left Cody. Fans are not the only ones who have criticized Cody and Robin's spending habits. In March 2023, Gwendolyn Brown, Cody and Christine's daughter made a YouTube video in which she responds to a Sister Wives episode. In the video, Gwendolyn expresses her worries about her father and Robin's financial decisions. While answering a fan's query, Gwendolyn said, Gwendolyn not only accused Cody and Robin of overspending, but she also suggested that Christine, Janelle, and Mary would be better off without her father. She also said that Cody's prior wives totally deserve the money he spent with Robin. Since marrying Robin, Cody has struggled to maintain positive connections with his elder children. Cody attended his daughter Savannah Brown's graduation and in May 2023 Savannah shared a picture of herself and her father at the ceremony. Fans of Sister Wives were quick to notice Cody's costly jewelry dangling around her neck. Internet sleuths set to work and discovered that the necklace was a sterling silver shield amulet necklace made by David Yerman, which incorporates lapis lazuli and sapphire and costs over $1,100. Fans were appalled by Cody's excessive spending on himself especially given the financial difficulties that several Sister Wives fans have faced. Cody once defended himself stating. In addition to treating himself, Cody has lavished Robin and her children with presents. In Sister Wives Season 18, Cody didn't buy Savannah anything for Christmas, demonstrating his inability to spend enough time with his other family. Savannah remarked, I was so upset it was my father. Now I'm simply upset with him. No gifts, nothing. Christine and Janelle were likewise perplexed by the circumstances. Cody defended himself saying, I'm separated from my children because they threw me out of my house. I have not had the emotional courage to seek out. According to the Daily Mail, in 2019, Cody and Robin paid $900,000 for a 4,400-square-foot, 4 five-bedroom, four-bathroom house in Flagstaff, Arizona. The rustic-style residence has a large kitchen with spectacular views of acres of woods, an underfloor heating system, two master suites, a heated driveway, and a large terrace. 
According to Coconino County court records acquired by the Daily Mail, the transaction closed on August 30th, with Cody and Robin listed as the owners on the official deed. The home purchase seemed to show that Robin was Cody's favorite wife. Although Robin had said that she did not want to live in a very forested location owing to forest fires, she has definitely changed her mind. The house was only on the market for a month when Cody and Robin purchased it. Robin is getting the best place to live, a source informed the Daily Mail. Even her last rental property in Flagstaff was about 7,000 square feet. About twice the size of the other three wives' homes. Janelle Brown, the star of Sister Wives, broke her silence and spoke directly to her social media fans one month after her son Garrison Brown died. The reality star appreciated those who expressed heartfelt remarks on Instagram but criticized others who left snarky comments. As Janelle Brown mourns the loss of her son, Garrison Brown, she has resorted to social media to share photographs and photos of her fourth child with Cody Brown. However, she did not explicitly address her fans about the family tragedy until March 31, 2024. In a social media post in which she shared photographs originally uploaded by the Nevada National Guard, Janelle expressed her gratitude to fans. She also addressed snarky comments made by those who criticized her family. On March 31, Janelle talked directly to her Instagram fans. She goes on to say, it's been hard to get my brain to work properly again. She said, a I am so appreciative for the outpouring of love and support I've gotten over the previous three weeks. The response has been astounding. I'm honored. Many of you shared anecdotes of your loved ones. So many of you shared your thoughts and prayers. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, she said. Janelle commented on his National Guard Unit Celebration of Life event stating her son would have loved it. She went on to say, I am sharing some of the photos. She said, many of you have seen a number of them online, typically accompanied by sarcastic comments. But it was a lovely time for us. Janelle and Cody Brown have six children, Logan, Maddie, Hunter, Garrison, Gabriel, and Savannah. Their family was part of a larger polygamous tribe with 18 children and at one point four spouses, as shown on TLC's sister spouses. Janelle Brown has posted multiple photographs and messages on Instagram in memory of her late son, Garrison. Her initial post, which had comments shut off, said that her and Cody were saddened by the death of their baby. She subsequently uploaded a family picture from Christmas, which included Janelle, her children, and grandkids. Subsequent photographs included Garrison's favorite cats, which family members adopted, as well as a social media post from High County Humane in Flagstaff, Arizona, commemorating the young man's life and cat dad status. The comments on the aforementioned blogs varied from nostalgic to melancholy. Other social media users, on the other hand, used the site to assign blame, express their fury at Brown family members, and argue that the negative impacts of reality television were to blame for the tragedy. In a Facebook post tagged with the Nevada National Guard, followers exchanged furious words. On March 25, the military released images of the Brown family from a ceremony commemorating Garrison. Fans of Sister Wives commented on Janelle Brown's Instagram post expressing their support for the family. They attempted to counteract some of the unfavorable comments about the polygamist clan in previous blogs. For every snarky comment, there are many, many more people praying that your beautiful family finds peace, a member of the public commented. Janelle, we pray for you. Snarky comments about a reality TV show have no place in a grieving family and we are holding your hearts, a second admirer said. No one has the right to make snide remarks about Cody or anyone else in that family in light of this tragedy. We only get a look into their life via television and social media, a third enthusiast remarked. They went on to say, no one should have to experience the death of a kid. They're all suffering in some manner. Thanks for watching if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.